So the first thing you've got to do is understand your customers lives in ways that you probably don't today. And when you understand their lives, you can find ways to get involved in their lives in ways that are relevant and interesting and yes, helpful. And that's how you come up with sort of your initial potential topics for utility. Um, so, you know, in, in, in Phoenix, as you know, the Phoenix Children's Hospital has a mobile app, which is a car seat helper app, which helps you pick out yeah. the right car seat. Well, they don't sell car seats, right? They're not in the car seat business necessarily, but they're in the keeping kids healthy and safe business, right? So they figured out that young parents can't figure out how to buy a car seat because you go to the store to buy a car seat, it looks like the cereal aisle, and they're like, oh, well, we can solve that problem, right? So that's the first step is doing research, uh, keyword mining, uh, social chatter mining, interviewing your customers, all that kind of stuff to get a sense for what they really need. That's the first step. The second step is to, when you have those needs figured out, determine how you're going to execute it. This is the kind of stuff that you guys are so good at. So if the, if the customer need is, I need to make a better car seat decision, well, you could build a lot of different kinds of utility to solve that problem, right? You could do a blog, you could do a video blog, you do Tumblr, you could do Vine, you could do an infographic, you could do an ebook, you could do an event. Uh, there's a lot of different things you could do. Uh, they did a mobile app because actually the where you really need that information most is in right. the store. 